tried to get a handball through, almost missed his fist. Low bottom. The flying shot at goal and might still work. It rolls, it tumbles, it trickles. It's a goal. Perfect start. It's almost amazing to see the Swans miss a target. Long kick from Dane Rampey. What a start. Bang, two in a row. Probably not likely as Goulden turns, goes and kicks a huge goal. He's a class act. And a bit of a watch on Ollie Florence uh, tonight. He's he had a little bit of a hole in his form a few weeks ago. Oh, amazing. Great smother. Straight to Parker. And he makes Laird pay full price. Good to have him back. Luke Parker. Goulden keeps that low. Haywood thumps it away. Morrill had it but lost it. Adams tried to get it out. Campbell spun out of one. Got a handle away just in time. And Parker again. He is an exceptional player. Keys, Berry, takes off the 50, drives it long, and the instant reply. you got to take your luck and ride it. And certainly do some. Short pass. No Rankin, no Rochelle tonight. And that is a nice long launch from Nan Curvis, who gets his first in AFL footy. In brilliant style. And there's a lot of love from his teammates for that. The Crows at the present time. Jeddah, I was about to say exactly the same thing. I, not a high-pressure game at this stage. <laughs> Call it, Lynchik, the key's goal. He slots it. And they're back in it. Turns. Doesn't go for home. He goes for Thilthorpe. Amazing. Thread of the eye of the needle. And the flick down, Warner gets and goes, turns, spins, looks up. Who does he want? Amati! Well, he had Robot and running side by side. And... Two goals last week against Essendon and slots that with ease. And a hot Amati could change September. Finds Cunningham. Sizzler along the deck, and even that works. Warner looks up, options are plenty, and Parker just with one paw. Empire let him get away with it, and with his Dax down, Florent goes. You get more points for that point? I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's a bigger degree of difficulty. And there is that beautiful left of Gordon. He can kick an apple off your head. Had to go to South Adelaide and the Sandfall to get noticed. Oh, and he's cool. become a big part of their picture. Aiden McLean. Lloyd, down the spine, that travel. Delightful kick, McLean. Not a lot to go to. Goes to Warner. He heads toward goal. Something in the way he moves. Chad Warner. One last roll of the dice. A mark from this kick. And they can have a shot. Dawson, front spot. Umpire's found a holding free. Didn't need a mark. This was his old home ground. And that was like shelling peas. Good way to finish the quarter for the Adelaide Crows. Blakey falls. Fogarty gets a moment. Got a handball up. Murphy thumps it on. Saligo inside kick. Bounces it to Tex. Hasn't seen a lot of it. Gives it to Curtin. Runs in and goals. He's got some class, Daniel Curtin. Has yes. had the tough jobs, but I mean, Hugh Bond's in game seven, so yeah. it's a pretty big task for a seven-gamer. And here is Errol on cue. Phenomenal. He's as good as it gets. Florent. Looking much more assured in that back 50, the Swans. Uh, Rampy back, Mills yeah, back. Goes goes Blakey <laughs> on the run. The Lizard Wizard. Cunningham got it. Spear down the spine again to Campbell. And to the goal square, easy as you like. McDonald puts it in the third tier. If they want to invite the pressure, you've got to be up to the game, otherwise you are going to ch chase backside. It's a rare fumble from Florent, and now it opens up for Zach Taylor to head towards goal and gets himself on the board to show. He dances the back pocket, spears it, and it'll be coming back with interest. Blakey's within range. Opens it up, heads toward goal. 
cold blooded from the lizard. Ball A's. Nice fake. Saligo. Hinge. Now going to run it out the Adelaide Crows. And Tex gets on the end of the Billy Dowling pass. 28 goals, 20 for the season. To make it 29, slots it. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm on the board of the Tassie Footy Club oh, now. You <laughs> well, you're going to have the Tassie job. Oh, the mark to McDonald, and he can add to his tally. He's got two so far. Yeah, make that three. The Crows scored 39 points in that first quarter and was all open and free running. They've scored 37 since that. Now Curvis to Taylor. The year they lost the grand final to the Dogs. They finished seventh that year. It's a pretty good kick. And it's delightful from Zach Taylor. Best ever season. Rings around the SCG and they've been the fans here. You're saying cut my pizza in six slices because I can't eat eight. It's a trick of numbers for them. And the Adelaide Crows been a bit disappointing this year as well, but at least they can wallpaper over some cracks with a late flurry here. And you've just been watching the best team in the comp. The win-loss tells you that. The ladder position tells you that. The Swans are minor premiers. And they've qualified for the finals in pole position. Join Kane Corns and myself, Riley Beveridge, for the round so far, where we bring you all of the results and break down the weekend's events. All the biggest winners and losers and what it means for them and the competition. Join us first thing Sunday mornings all season long for the round so far.